What's good guys, it is Nick or Anubis, and I wanted to bring you guys this video because a lot of people ask me, Nick, how do you do so good in public matches? Nick, what are your class setups? Nick, any tips and tricks you can give me? So I wanted to specifically make this video for you guys to just let you kick some serious ass. Now I wanted to bring you guys this video because I really feel like it would help you guys in a lot of ways. Now I can't promise this will work and make you get a million kills, but I'm pretty sure it would help you guys in every way, shape, and form. Obviously, you see the class setup I'm using. It's the KN44, Quick Draw, FMJ, Extended Mag with Long Barrel. And the perks are Afterburner, Fast Hands, and Gung Ho. Now, this class I actually just set up for shits and giggles just because I wanted to see what it would do. Because it was the Long Barrel, I'm pretty sure, I wanted to set up. But this class is just seriously very OP. I had no idea. Obviously, you see it melts people. It's just unreal. Now, I have 10 steps for you guys that I want to tell you to help you guys improve your game. Step one is be confident. You always have to be confident in this game because if you're not confident, you're not going to do as good as you normally do. Being confident is super important because a lot of people go into games. If you see people with high levels and whatnot, like, oh my God, we're going to get so fucked up, this, that, and the third. And um, that's not the attitude that you want to have. I go in every game being super confident, thinking that, yo, you're going to beat these guys you can do it you know don't give up you know stuff like that step two equipment okay you always have to have good equipment okay now if you obviously people can't afford good equipment like headsets or something like that or maybe a, a monitor that's just something that would really help you guys in general because the monitor has a faster refresh rate so you can actually get more of an advantage to see characters or enemies or whatever like a little bit faster than you would on like a big ass tv now Step three, strategy. You always have to have strategy. Always keep your back towards the wall if you really aren't that good of a player. You know, if you're just getting used to like pub stomping or you want to get better, keep your back towards the wall. Run around the side of the maps. It's just the best way to do it because if you keep your back against the wall for the most part, obviously there really wouldn't be as many enemies around you. <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. Step five, you really want to commit into killing people, okay? Now, if you're getting shot at and uh, you really want to play it safe, obviously don't go for it if you think you're going to lose. But me, I always commit, okay? For the most part, you know, sometimes I actually don't commit just in case if I'm on like a big streak or something. But that's just something everybody does. Step six, you always have to train your reflexes and eyes, okay? Now, this is something what I do. It sounds a little crazy, but I play on mute. I don't play with any sound. I don't play with... You know any any sound that i can hear at least from the game training your reflexes and eyes are a serious thing when it comes to actual gaming because you know you really need good reflexes and hand-eye coordination so your best bet is if you really don't want to do it in public match like i do just because i really give zero fucks do it in a combat training or a custom game with a whole bunch of bots um you know set the difficulty to uh, what you prefer uh, depending on your skill level, I usually set them on veteran, even though I would probably get my ass kicked because there's 18 of them and that's, you know, one of me. And yeah, that's it's not good. <laughs> but if you train your reflexes and your eyes, it's something that would really help you in the long run. Like I said, it would just help you get more kills. It'll give you that upper edge. Step seven, just like the movie Dodgeball. You ain't gonna be able to hit them. They're too good and you suck something off. Yes, sir, I turned to. The only shot is for you to get angry. Roger that. Okay. All right. Hands in. One, two, three, shows! You gotta get angry. Get angry now! Gordon Pibb alone facing five cougars. It's all over but the crying. Sayonara, Avita Zane, and goodbye. to get angry getting angry helps because you will absolutely murder people a lot of the times if i'm losing and i get angry i just whip out some nasty gun and i get some serious streaks and i fuck them up bad okay getting angry is very very important get angry no matter what you do think of something think of your ex-girlfriend i don't know think of your parents bullshitting you or yelling at you just something that will get you pissed off now this sounds a little you know, stupid, but this is a very underrated thing. It is your posture, you know, the way you sit. You need to sit down in a certain way to be able to play different. Now me, 
I actually lean forward. I put my, my legs forward. I put my, my elbows on my knees. Okay. And I start gaming that way. That's just the best way to do it because, I mean, that's for me at least, not for you guys. But find a comfortable posture that you guys are into that really helps you feel better and more comfortable for you to game. Because that's something that's important for you. It would really help you guys just the way you play in, in every way, shape, and form. Now, step 10, very underrated as well. You have to pay attention to your radar, okay? The radar is key because obviously there's UAVs, there's all this stuff. When people shoot, the red dot comes up. I am looking at that radar probably 90% of the time, okay? I glance at it. I keep glancing at it. I never stop glancing at it. Honestly, right now I'm looking at the radar <laughs> because it's just, it's just a habit that I have. Pay attention to the radar. That's something that would help you. You will always have a good advantage against the enemies because you will have more of a, a visual of where they are on the map. Now, just a little side note. I wanted to tell you guys something that I do and I've pretty much mastered it in my opinion i've never heard of anybody else tell you about this um i'm pretty sure i'm the only guy that actually is going to tell you about this this is something that really helps me in my game and it's something that i never told anybody before so this is something that i think is top secret pretty confidential it's going to sound a little confusing at first but bear with me okay now this has to go with a lot of the uh tips that i had but it's more so going with like the thinking in the moment type of thing Basically, when you aim, I have like a, a second mind or something. I don't know. It's weird, but I see what's going on as I'm aiming. Like, I really, really think in the moment. Like, it's so hard to explain, but I know what's going on at all times. Like, if I'm off a little bit, some people can't even comprehend. Like, if they're off a little bit and they can't move, but even though they know that they're, they're trying to move like to the right or the left, they can't. So what I would do is... You know, when I was first starting out doing this, because I kind of figured out the strategy myself is I would tell myself out loud what to do. If you know what's going on and you know you have to aim a little to the left, say left to yourself. Like, be like, oh, Nick, left. Tell yourself like you're telling somebody else. Be like, hey, Nick, aim left. I, I do it in my mind now because I don't want to sound like a fucking idiot to people. But that's something that you really want to do. You really want to think in the moment and really... Just think about what you're doing at that moment. You really can get good at it. It's not hard because when you do, you will see a difference in the way you aim, the way you play, the way you think. It is something that has always helped me. If you tell yourself out loud what's going on, what to do, watch what you do. You'll actually react to it. Now, sometimes you won't because you're still getting used to it and whatnot, but you'll see yourself reacting more to it once you get used to it. I'm telling you, just try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Now, if you guys want to see a class setup video, let me know. I was going to make one anyway, but I just want to get some feedback on what you guys think about this video if you want more tips and tricks. So, do like the video. Comment down below if you like any certain tricks that you do. Maybe I'll try them out and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on how it works and I'll include them and I'll give you credit for it. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Hopefully, you guys have some badass games to show me, some badass kill clips, whatever. I want you guys to just kick ass with this and, um, you know, make me feel good that I'm actually helping people. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.